Hey, what's up? How's it going, everybody? I'm gonna be over here doing some cat fishing this morning. See how it goes. I'm, gonna, I'm catching some bait right now on this one. I need me some bluegills, so I'm using my my smaller reel catch me some bluegills and I'm gonna have my Alpha XT some cut bait I got my Shakespeare ATS with ugly stick and I got my Cast King Sharky 3 on an ugly stick GX2 and I have my the X this XT I have is gonna be also on an ugly stick <clears throat> my other Shakespeare SKP is going to be on a roughneck rod and I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have four of the my rods out here for catfish maybe five we got to see how the how the day is you know see if they're biting good or if it's real slow I'll put out five if not I'll put out four of them but uh, we're going to see if we catch some uh, catfish this morning see how it goes out here it feels good out here man it really does it feels nice it's uh beginning of fall so it's not hot it's not too cold it's just pretty much just right i think the the high today is only 85 and like right now it's probably about 74 72 so it feels great out here guys it feels good so i'm trying to do some fall catfish and see if i can land some big ones and hopefully my camera will be on. If not, I'll have to switch to my. <laughs> if not, I'll have to switch to my phone camera. But uh, we'll see if we catch something out here. Let's see how it goes. Hey, I was fishing for bluegills and I caught this. Not exactly what I need, but that's a nice looking little bass. Nice looking little bass. Keep getting a bite on this one. We'll see what happens. You know, it's funny. The other day, uh, about two days ago, we were talking about those honeybees. You know, those little honeybees? Not wasps, you know, they're honeybees. And, uh, I'm like, you know, every time I see them, I just slap them off because they never sting you, you know? I ain't never got stung by one until. About 10 minutes ago, I picked up my rod and I felt something on my hand. I had a bite. So, I put, so you know, I went like this. I put my hand back on my rod. A damn honeybee stung the crap out of me. And I was like, oh, man. I, I, mean, <laughs> I didn't know those honeybees hurt that bad like a wasp. God, that thing hurt so bad. And I had to put the uh, went ahead and I looked down at it and that freaking stinger was still stuck in me. I, had to, I pulled out that stinger. And you know, I hope it puts some mud on there. You know, just a quick little fast tip. If you ever get stung by an ant or you know, get bit by an ant or stung by a bee out here at the lake, you know. A lot of people know it, but just, just in case you don't, you know, get a little bit of mud and put it over it. And the, when the mud starts drying up, it starts, you know, it starts like so, uh, sucking out that, that, um, that venom that they put in you. And, you know, it helps. It actually does help. I can kind of see how my finger is swollen right here on the side. Stung me right here. <laughs> Just a quick little lake tip for y'all. Yeah, it ain't bad. A bass. <laughs> Not a bad bass. Caught three bass today. Man. <laughs> Three bass on that cut bait. Right. I was getting a bite on that one over there too. Alright. Gonna get a release on him. Alright guys. Fish on. Oh man. You got 
got tangled up in something. I'll let him run with it though. He's running, look at that, he's running. Look at that line, he's just running with it. He's out. Oh, he's not out. Just let him run again. Let's see if he can get out of there. I'm going to let him run with it. Look at him run. I really hope I get this fish because it sounded like a, <coughs> felt like a good one. Look at him running. Oh, hell, I got him out. Yeah, I got him out. I got him out. I got him out. Oh man, that's a good one. There's a damn stick you wrapped up in. Look at that. Damn stick. Look at that. Tired, huh, big man? Look at that. He got all tangled up in that. Oh. Oh. I didn't think I was going to get you, big boy. Getting all tangled up in all that mess. Oh, man. that one Look at that one up there Look at that channel that's a good one it's jumping from 512 to 513 So this is about what five five twelve I guess five twelve and a half. All right, guys, I just had a I saw a channel cat I just caught, which was a real good one, five pounds twelve ounces, and that was probably about fifteen minutes ago. And you no, know, it's pretty windy out here. Look. Hopefully it ain't picking up all this wind on the camera, but, but, uh, it's had a bite right now, but, uh, I got my rod, my rod that I cut that channel cat with all the way over there, because I was walking with that line, and, man, that, he messed up my line, it's all scraped, so I'm going to pull, I had to pull out probably about, like, almost 20 yards of that line and cut it I had to check my line so and it was pretty it was pretty frayed, uh, not frayed um am I getting the bite on now? it was pretty uh, scraped up so I had to change that line out, I gotta just cut off about 20 yards and but that's a good tip though, y'all catch if y'all ever catch a good channel cat always check y'all's line and y'all's leaders cause if y'all, you know, if y'all fish for catfish all the time, I know what I'm talking about, because, like, a, a 10-pound channel cat could snap 30-pound line because of its teeth. It's like a hacksaw just grind while, while they're rolling. The cat, you know, you're fighting the fish, and he's rolling, and he's pulling. Them teeth are like, oh, man, it's like cheese grater, you know? They're just getting sawed on by their teeth. They have real sharp teeth, and they're tumbling, and you ain't got no good, strong line, and they could, they could just cut your line just like that but uh just a good quick little tip always check y'all's line after catching a good size channel cat or just even after any channel cat just always check your line off and on throughout the fishing trip and because you don't want to you don't want to have a you know your line be damaged and you catch a good one you bring him up on the bank and he gets off right there you know 
Ah, that sucks. <laughs> that ruined your day. But just a little tip, you know, always check y'all's line. And even retie. If you have to retie, just retie. I wouldn't obsess over retying, but always check your line. You gotta check your line. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, just making it home. I didn't finish the ending the video out there on the lake because a uh, guy showed up that I talked to all the time and I started packing up everything and I forgot <laughs> I forgot until I was heading home but uh yeah you know caught a two bass decent sized bass you know just small 12 inch 12 inch bass and um uh that good real good uh channel cat was uh, uh five pounds uh 13 ounces or five pounds 12 ounces that was a good one but uh you know good day out there in the water and you know pretty decent day i wish i would have caught more catfish but uh looks like the bass were biting more than the catfish <laughs> but uh but hey you know can't complain i didn't get skunked out there so it was a decent day but see y'all next time y'all take care and we'll see we'll see if we pull out some bigger ones